please don't mind the background right now. Like I'm in the same place I film all the time, but normally I'm closer up to that backdrop, which is like a cheap piece of fabric that I bought at a fabric store. Um, but I'm in a huge rush today and I wanted to bring you guys this video. So I just kind of set up in front of my window and who cares about the background anyway? You guys don't care. You love me anyway, don't you? Yeah. Hi guys, Curly Susie here and I'm extremely excited to be here today because I got my hair cut. So before I get into all the details about my haircut and how I feel about cutting curly hair, um, I'm gonna show you my haircut a little bit. So look. Uh, Look, it's got tons of bounce. Oh my God, it looks so much healthier. Look at all this curl. No, I do not get a diva cut. Um, and I'm not an expert in the diva cut, but I'm gonna explain a couple of things about the diva cut. So number one reason I don't get a diva cut is because there's no diva salon in my area. I live in a very small town. There is a diva salon approximately like a two and a half hour drive away from my house and I'm just not willing to do that. Like maybe someday I'll do it for fun but for right now I love the way my stylist cuts my hair and I love hanging out with her so the idea and the principles behind the diva cut, I fully, fully support. So for, I'm not gonna tell you everything about the diva cut, you can look it up online, but they do cut the hair dry and this makes total sense to me. So what they do is your hair get, they use all of like the Curly Girl approved products and they basically style your hair curly and then they cut your hair dry. Um, now this makes sense to me for a lot of reasons. Number one, they're cutting a silhouette. So they're cutting a shape to your hair that they want to be present when your hair is curly. So if they were to wet your hair and cut it like in straight lines, when it curled, like every curl in your head is a, has a different amount of bounce and spring um, and curliness. So once that curled, it would lose the shape that they cut it into. So it just makes sense to cut your hair when it's curly. The other thing about a diva cut is they cut individual curls. So like they would take a curl like this and I don't know the specifics. Again, I'm not a stylist, but they would cut the, the, the curl like at the end of the curl. So they wouldn't cut it right here so that there would be like a straight piece sticking out. They cut it in a certain way right at the bottom of the spiral so that your hair just looks healthier and there's no like jagged edges. So anyway, again, reasons I don't get a diva cut, I don't have a diva salon close enough to me. And the second reason is because my hair is not that curly. I mean, it's curly. It's definitely like a 3A, but I also have some 2C waves in there. So my hair is like a 2C, 3A. Um, and it's just not that curly. If I had 3A hair or above, or like a type four hair, I think a diva cut would benefit me a lot more. Um, and there are parts of the diva cut that would benefit me, like the whole experience of them like squishing the conditioner into your hair and all that, like that is amazing. But my hairstylist will do that for me. So again, I don't know. I'm sticking with my hairstylist. I love her, she's amazing. Beth, I love you. So number one has to do with just my overall cut. So I do get my hair cut wet. And the reason for this, and this is something that I've been very adamant about since I went back to having curly hair is because I have that light, fluffy, fuzzy kind of curly hair naturally, I really need to get my hair cut bluntly on the bottom. So a lot of stylists that you go to, they will like texturize the bottom part of your hair um, or use thinning shears or whatever. If a hairstylist pulls out thinning shears on your curly hair, just friggin', just run, just get out of there. But anyway, I want my curls to look very crisp and like juicy on the bottom and like bouncy and what's the, the word I'm looking for? Like clumpy curls. And in order to get that, you need to have a blunt cut, I believe. So anyway, so my stylist does wet my hair and comb it down straight and she cuts my hair around the bottom like straight across and that's what gives me this look. Second thing I'm gonna talk about is layering. So there are layers in my hair. Um, my hair in the back and around the sides to the front is generally, well, it's almost all one length. So she cuts my hair blunt across the bottom and then she'll usually give me one or two long layers that are only like an inch, an inch or less I think, or an inch and a half. Um, shorter than the rest of my length. And I do this for a few reasons. Number one, I like my hair again to look thick and clumpy 
and I need the weight to keep my hair from really puffing up. Um, so I just like this look with the long layers. And um, don't get me wrong, I do like curly haircuts with shorter layers, but it just doesn't look as good on my hair. So see this curl? Like if she was to point cut this, instead of it being healthy looking and like blunt on the bottom, it would have little thinner wispy pieces coming from the bottom. And I find that those pieces on my hair at least don't curl very good. So yes, yeah, she cuts my hair wet and she cuts it blunt across the bottom. Then the third thing she does is she really layers just this very front section of my hair. So I do want some shorter pieces to create volume and to create like a little bit of a more aesthetic shape to my hair. So she basically takes like this much hair, not this piece, that one's long, right? Like about this much. And she gives me like a couple of mid-length layers. So like, see, like my hair is this long and then these layers are that long. And then she takes a few pieces out of that in the front and gives me a little bit of a fringe. So that's the shortest part of my hair. So it's like a little bit of a bang. And again, that just creates some volume in the front and a little bit more uh, curl definition. So that's like the third part of my haircut. The fourth thing I wanna say about my specific haircut is that I don't go to a diva salon like I mentioned. I go to a professional hairstylist who is amazing. She's amazing. And one of the things that I love the most about her is that, again, like she's been in the business forever and she's very well known around here and sought after, but she has like no ego. So like when I go in there, she's like, Susie, everything that I know about curly hair, I learned from my clients. Do you have anything, you know, new that you want to tell me about today? What products do you want to use? Do you have your own gel here today? Do you want to use your own gel? Um, or she'll be like, I ordered some Diva Curl products in. Do you want to try them today? Like she's very flexible and just will listen to me and we kind of work together to decide what she's going to do and then she does the magic and because of that it always I find anyway it turns out great and here I am bragging about my haircut and I know there's going to be a couple of views out there that are like no I don't like it no I hope this video was helpful I hope you liked it give it a big thumbs up if you did and a big thumbs down if you didn't like it leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye